Tasty tonight. I've never felt emotion like this. I'm crying right I'm now. I'm crying too. You just told a story that's very special. It felt so moving. I can't stop crying. He was the mama bear. The Voice, new tomorrow on NBC and streaming on Peacock. We have a woman and baby to save. You're going to the reservation. She doesn't have much time. You can't just leave me here, ignoring me. You okay? Found Tuesday on NBC and streaming on Peacock. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. Now at 11, all quiet tonight on one of the busiest stretches of freeway in the country. The 10 through downtown shut down as thousands of Southern California drivers look for another way to work for the second straight morning commute. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. Tonight, we know the how. State and local leaders say this fire was deliberately set, but so far, we don't know the who. We have live team coverage tonight. Macy Jenkins with the impact on commuters and business owners. We're going to start right now with NBC4's Darsha Phillips, live downtown with what's next in the rebuilding process and the investigation into who started this. Darsha. Yeah, Colleen, we are on the 10 freeway eastbound lanes right where traffic is being diverted off the freeway at Alameda. And this is more than just a wrench in the commute here in Los Angeles. And adding insult to injury, we do not have a timeline for when this will reopen. The freeway closure is indefinite, but officials are hoping that will all change by tomorrow. Crews working around the clock, building a brace around the charred areas of the 10 freeway after a massive fire closed this vital section in downtown indefinitely. There was malice intent that this fire occurred uh, within the fence line of the facility you see behind me that it was arson. At a press conference today, the governor revealing the destructive fire was intentionally set. The fire started Saturday in a storage yard beneath the 10 freeway, burning for several hours, compromising the structural stability of more than 100 columns that hold up the bridge deck and the larger bridge deck itself. But preliminary testing brought some good news. The structural integrity of the deck appears to be much stronger than originally assessed. There is still more testing to be done, but by tomorrow, officials will know if the retrofitting will be enough or if a complete demolition and repair is needed. The bracing work would allow us to open up this structure much sooner than a complete demo and repair. And while there's no timeline as to how long this stretch of the freeway, used by as many as 300,000 drivers a day, will remain shut down, Mayor Karen Bass is urging people to use public transportation or work from home if possible. And she's asking people to not jump to any conclusions about who may have set the fire. We know that the origin of this is arson. We do not know other information. There is no reason to assume that the origin of this fire or the reason this fire happened was because there were unhoused individuals nearby. And back here live, you're also seeing a shot from News Chopper 4 of the closure. Not much to see right now, but tomorrow morning, it's going to look much different. It's going to really be compacted. A lot of traffic jams as folks continue to try and find their way around this closure. And again, we do know that this fire was intentionally set, but officials say they do not know who set this fire. They are still looking at a lot of information right now. They are looking at cameras that are in the area and they're asking for the public's help. Anyone with any information on this fire is urged to contact the arson hotline and you can find that number on our website NBCLA.com. Reporting live from the 10 freeway tonight, I'm Darsha Phillips, NBC4 News. All right, Darsha, thank you. And NBC4's Macy Jenkins continues our live team coverage right now with more on the impact for drivers and really everyone else in Southern California. Macy. Hi, Colleen. Well, rush hour is already a busy time without one of the busiest freeways in the state shut down. And with no end date on those repairs just yet, city officials say the drivers have to be prepared to spend more time in the car taking a detour around the tent. You can scan the QR code on your screen to find an alternate route ahead of tomorrow's commute. 
Images of the I-10 fire over the weekend had Angelinos dreading their Monday morning commute. It tripped me out. It freaked me out because that's the way I go every morning. I take the 60 to the 10. But with